The Department of Justice is dedicated to ensuring that America's criminal justice system is as fair, as efficient, and as effective as possible. That's why in August of 2013, I launched the Smart on Crime Initiative, a, a targeted way to enhance the way we charge, sentence, and release individuals in order to, to end this country's over-reliance on incarceration and to promote efforts that give, give people the tools they need to return to their communities and to lead better and more productive lives. In the six years since President Obama took office, we have made important progress in fighting crime and advancing our long-term criminal justice efforts. In fact, during this administration, overall crime has decreased by over 15 percent, while overall incarceration has decreased by nearly 9 percent, the first time these two critical markers have declined together in more than 40 years. And just two months ago, I was able to report that over the past year, the federal prison population declined by roughly 5,000 inmates, the first decrease we've seen in many decades. Today, I can announce that the number of persons supervised by United States adult correctional systems in prison or in jail or on probation or parole fell below 6.9 million individuals at the end of 2013. This drop leaves the United States with the smallest population under the authority of adult correctional supervision in nearly a decade. Now, this is a significant milestone. It is highlighted in a study to be released by the Bureau of Justice Statistics. And while we clearly have much more work to do, it is my hope that we are witnessing the start of an overall trend that will continue and that will accelerate as our reform efforts take full effect. Now, as I've said many times, we cannot incarcerate our way to becoming a safer nation. That's why we need to focus on common sense sentencing reforms and on proven evidence-based solutions like diversion programs for those convicted of low-level, nonviolent offenses. We are seeing this approach take roots in states across the country as more and more governors and legislatures recognize that incarceration must be used to punish, deter, and rehabilitate, not merely to warehouse and forget. And here in Washington, D.C., I'm proud to work with leaders in Congress from, from both parties to advance this vital conversation and bring about a paradigm shift in the way our nation approaches criminal justice. And of course, I recognize that these are, are challenging issues and the changes that we seek will not occur overnight, but I am dedicated and the Department of Justice is committed to an ongoing effort that strengthens our criminal justice system, lives up to our founding ideals, and builds the safer, more just society that all Americans deserve.